this tutorial is going to show you how you can set up your progress book to be able to import your grades from Schoology. Um, I'm going to walk through all of the steps that we need to do from the very beginning um, to make sure that you can do this on your own. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to log into your progress book classroom and you're going to notice all your classes will be listed. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that all of our classes are there. Um, we'll be able to go in and edit our list in just a few minutes. Um, there are some things that we want to do before that. The first thing we need to do is set up our assignment types. So I click on set up assignment types and no matter what I did last year or years previous, what I would like you to do is to create a new category called quarter grade. So you're going to go in and you're going to so type quarter grade and you'll give it a category abbreviation of QTR and we'll make it worth points. And we are going to put that category into all of our classes. So we click the box right there by all and we can go in and we can hit save and it will then put that check mark into all of those grading courses that we're going to use um, for now and into the future for the second semester. At that point that has been copied over and I'm now ready to go back to my grade book and I'm ready to go to the second which is to set up my calculation methods and weights. When I click on that, I want to make sure that it says straight average. We don't want to use a weighted average because we're only going to use one assignment type and we're only going to give it one score per grading period or per quarter anyhow. So leave it straight average and then hit save. At that point, we can then select all so that we can copy that setting into all of our other courses and we're going to hit copy and it'll say copy complete over here on the side. Go back to the grade book and there's one more thing we need to do and that's set up the grading scales. So we're going to go into custom setup one because that's what we need to do for secondary st style which is middle school and high school. We hit save then it's going to give us a save next which will allow us to pick the district default grading scale. So we have to be careful to make sure we pick district default which is our A, A minus, B plus, B, etc. And we're going to hit save next. It's going to then bring in all of our student names and make sure that they are all part of the class default grading scale. I'm going to hit save next. And then it's going to allow me to again copy into all of my other courses and I'm going to hit copy so that all of my courses are set up right from the very beginning. Now I'm going to go back into my grade book and I'm going to go in and edit the list of my classes because some of my classes are active right now and some of them are second semester. You'll notice that the course ID is there so we can tell that these numbers are first semester courses and these are second semester courses because they end with one and a two. We can also create a class alias to make it easier for us to see the title of the course and then we can hide those courses that are second semester courses. So I can hide those and hit save now when I go back to my gradebook, I only see the courses using the aliases that I created to do my work. At that point, my classes are set up and ready to go. So I'm going to enter into period one. And in period one, I need to go over to my assignment list and I need to add an assignment. That assignment is going to be called quarter grade or quarter one or whatever you want to call it. I'll call it quarter one now. And then on my assignment type is a quarter grade because that's all we gave it as a choice. We're going to make it worth a hundred points and then it is ready for me to do. 
Um, I can also share that assignment into my other classes if I don't want to have to go back in and reset this up. So I'm going to go ahead and save so that this course is ready to go. It now has an assignment. I am ready to put in the marks. So I'm going to go to the marks window and I can see that my students are in and it's got a place for me to collect the marks. All I need to do is import the marks. So I'm prepped and ready to go from Schoology. Now, over in Schoology, if I log into my class, I'm going to go into my period one class, make sure it matches up. Then over here, I can see the quarter grades. And then over on the side, there's three little dots up at the top. And when I click on those, it gives me the ability to export my gradebook. So I'm going to go to the three dots to export. When I go there, it's going to give me two choices. I want to choose the top one. I want to export my gradebook. And I'm going to say next. When I do that, it exports it and drops it down at the bottom. And I'm using Chrome, so that's where it goes. And typically, on your machine, it's going to go into the downloads folder. I did this earlier so that I could open up that spreadsheet that downloads. This downloaded Excel spreadsheet is going to have first name, last name, the student's ID number, and then some grades for the whole course that we're teaching. What's very important for us is that we get rid of the first name and last name and delete those columns from the spreadsheet. We also need to delete column D and column E because all we want is the quarter grade. So to do that, I click on the letter A and it highlights the whole column. I go to the edit at the top and I delete. That column disappears. I now click on column A, edit, delete. Now, I don't want to get rid of the user ID. I want to keep that. So I'm going to click over to B to get rid of the overall grade, edit, delete. I'm going to do the same thing for the semester one grade. Click, edit, delete. Now at this point I have the user ID in column one, the grade that I want to put in in column two, which is the quarter grade. And so now I am going to save as so that I can change the name of the file and save it onto my desktop. So I'm going to call this one initial export and I'm going to put dash two so I know it's my most current file and I'm going to put it onto my desktop. So I'm going to click on my desktop and I'm going to hit save. At that point number two is available to me saved onto my desktop and I'm now ready to go back and import it. I can close it and not save the original that's okay. Now when I go back to progress book, I am ready to import my marks. So I'm going to click on import marks. It's going to say, what file do I want to use? You're going to choose your file. And remember that one we just did was dash two. So I click on it and I open. Did that have headers? Yes, it did have headers that told me what the great or the name of the column was and then I'm going to say import marks. When I do that, it's going to show me the student's name. It's going to show me the mark that it's going to bring in. And it lets me know everything worked fine. If I don't adjust my data correctly, I'm going to get errors right there. So I can see that I did it correctly. I've imported the marks. Now up in the top right hand column, I can hit save. When I hit save, it's going to save that and take me back to my marks window. And now I can go look at my grid and I can see in my grid that there's the student, there's their average, and I can now see what the class or that the grade is there. It's got a letter grade. It is doing exactly what we want. So now I can go back to my dashboard for that class. And I can tell it that I want to 
um, I want to send the grade to the grade card. So I'm going to enter a report card. I click on it. I come over to the side. I say show all students. And we wait for the students to load on to the right hand side. When we do that, we make sure that the report card is the first semester report card. And when we do that, it will reload the page for us. There we go. And now we can see the little check box on top of quarter one. So I can check the box. I can hit the equals. And then it will bring over the grades that I just imported. And it will let us know what the grade mark is for each student in class. At that point I can use canned comments that are in my list. I could also type a typed comment. If I do a typed comment, please, please, please keep it brief. Don't get into something really long. Kind of think of it like Twitter, brief and to the point. At that point I can get down to the bottom of the page Notice how they're all pink. When I get down to the bottom of the page, I can hit save and then they'll turn white and I will have finished submitting my grades for that class. At that point, I could do the same thing for the next class and so forth and so on.